welcome to New Blue Effects Tips and Techniques Video Tutorials. This is Jeremy Rasnick with New Blue. Today I'm pleased to show you how to use Image Mapper, part of the Video Essentials 3 collection. Image Mapper came into being out of a necessity to quickly and efficiently superimpose, or map if you will, a clip onto just about any surface in your video while keeping the scene realistic. For example, use it to map a video onto a projection screen. Replace the scene in a window or project a poster onto the side of a building. Typically, doing this requires knowledge of 3D geometry and using a tool to place the clip in 3D space. Image Mapper makes this all so easy by letting you place the four corners of the video directly in the picture. In other words, this can be an effective plugin for enhancing footage with mapped clips that lead your viewer to think the mapped clips were there to begin with. I'm going to show you how to use Image Mapper to make this clip. This first scene is of a beach that has been closed due to an oil spill. I found it in the map clip that I'll be using in this section of the tutorial on artbeats.com. This works almost perfect for what I want. The only problem is that my client doesn't want a beach that's been closed due to oil, but due to sharks. Why you ask? In this case, my client wants to sell portable digital signage to local beaches to help cut down on people entering the beaches when they're closed due to shark sightings. He has hired me to put together a short promo clip. So, with that said, we'll move right along. I already have my shark clip on the timeline. I'll drag Image Mapper onto the clip and choose the preset Simple PIP to start with. From here, I'll use the shift plane to match up one of the corners and then onto the corner positions to adjust them so as to cover the sign leaving a little of the edge showing just to give it a border. If you notice, the controls give you several ways to do the same thing. You can most definitely start with any control you want the plane, the coordinates, a dial, or the arrow keys. New Blue makes their effects to intentionally have similar features, so once you learn one, you can grasp the others quickly. Now, I'll tweak the clip a bit using the arrow keys to ensure it fits over the original sign how I want it. If you see me clicking on the plane control handle, I'm doing this to ensure that corner is the focus of my arrow key movements. This is just a simple thing to get in the habit of doing when using this control, as it will help ensure you don't accidentally move the wrong control. Copying and pasting may be different in your NLE, but the concept is the same. For clarity, all I'm doing is applying the image mapper information from the shark clip to the three text clips. See how easy that was? Now, I want to fatten up the sharks just a bit to make them look bigger. I can do that with the aspect ratio dial. If I dial it to the left, the sharks get wider. And if I dial it to the right, they get skinnier. The bigger the shark, the scarier, right? I also want to show you that you can feather the edges of the image using the edge blur dial. See how that works? We could use this if the sign was dusty and we wanted our image to look dirty around the edges, or if we just wanted it to blend instead of it having a hard edge. The dial that is right above the aspect ratio dial would allow us to crop the image to effectively make the image zoom in, thus making the content of the clip bigger. There you have it. I think that would deter me a whole lot more from going on the beach than a simple sign would. I think my client's onto something here. All right, now I want to show you how you can easily replace the content of a sign. This is so simple to do with Image Mapper. Here we have our next scene with stock footage provided by Artbeat's Footage Hub. It's a simple sign, but it's at an angle with the left side a little larger than the right. This poses no problem for Image Mapper. First, we'll use the generated media to cover up the wording on the sign. Now we'll apply the preset reset to none and start by lining up the top left corner with the top left corner of the sign by using the plane tool. Once it's close, I'll use the arrow keys to get more precise with it. Now I'll repeat this with the bottom left corner. There it is. And now over to the right hand side. You can use whichever controls you want to adjust the media we are overlaying the sign with. I find it easiest to use the plane control handles to get things close and then the arrow keys to tidy it up for a perfect match. The arrow keys just seem to make for an easier time of incrementally adjusting your mapped clip. Plus, when you use them, they only move on the axis they point to. The up and down arrow keys move on the Y axis, and the left and right ones move on the X axis. Alright, now that we have it lined up, 
will make the color scheme match up. There. Now all we have to do is add some text and we're good to go. In this case, we'll use the title I already had on the timeline and resize it using Image Mapper to map it on the sign. So here I'll apply Image Mapper to the text itself, and we'll start off with the Reset to None preset just like we did earlier. Reset to None tends to be my default preset of choice. We'll give the top left corner an X position of negative 87.6 and a Y position of 48.8. The bottom left's coordinates will be negative 100 for x and negative 100 for y. The top right will be 100 for x and 100 for y. And the bottom right will be 100 for x and negative 39.5 for y. You can still use the plane tool or the arrow keys to get the same results. I just wanted to show you that you can type in coordinates if you know what to put in them. I don't think we'll need to change anything else as that should do it. See how simple that was? Image Mapper made this really easy to do. Now we have a nice looking neon sign. Next up, we'll play some video footage that was made exclusively with Image Mapper on the side of a building in New York City. Image Mapper makes it quick and easy to show a client the potential to utilizing digital signage on their building. We're going to place ours right here for this tutorial. This scene was provided courtesy of Artbeat's Footage Hub. We'll start like we have previously by applying the Reset to None preset to the clip we want to map. Now we'll take the corner planes and adjust them to fit the building. Again, I'll start at the top left and adjust using the plane, and then for more accuracy I'll use the arrow keys. This is a particularly good clip for the Image Mapper plugin, as I think it highlights its ability to easily manipulate the clip to fit pretty much whatever surface you want to put it on. You could even map an image on the side of one of the passing cabs and use the keyframes to have it to follow the cab as it moved. Got it. Image Mapper allows us to make fine tune adjustments as we can preview our changes in real time. And just to give you an idea what the edge curve controls can do, watch this. You see how that could be useful? What if you wanted to map this on a barrel or some other rounded object? How about a banner? All we have to do is curve the edges to get a perfectly easy fit. Of course, if you had more time, you could take a frame grab, open it up in your image editor, Isolate the window frames of the building to place back over top the map clip if you want it to look more like the Lion King sign. Now, let's take a look at the final result of how Image Mapper was used in this tutorial. There you have it Image Mapper, an effective plugin for enhancing footage with map clips that will lead your viewers to think the map clips were there to begin with. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Image Mapper is part of New Blue's Video Essentials 3 collection. If you'd like more product information or would like to view more tips and techniques, video tutorials, you can find them on our website, www.newblueeffects.com. This is Jeremy Rasnick, and thanks for joining us and learning a bit more about New Blue Effects. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use. <laughs>